Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. Let's see one more transformation in this class. So we have our uh, employee table here and uh, we want to uh, rank the records uh, and load into the target. This is a target schema and uh, this is a HR schema. So I will add uh, here we have uh, n number of uh, columns and I will put n plus 1 here and the extra column is called rank. Uh, I will rank all the employees based on salary. So I will put salary rank. So uh, first we will do uh, how to rank all the rank all the records in employees table all 107 records and next we'll see rank within a department within a department so uh, we'll see both cases how to do in informatics i am creating a mapping here called m employees rank uh, before that i'll just add one more uh, column into my target table called alter table uh, employees add uh, rank which is a number column uh, let me add this column and then re-import the target uh, definition from the database again. Target and uh, uh, employees I will re-import again and replace. I'll replace here and uh, save. I'll create. Uh, I'll uh, let me complete the mapping first. So I'll, I'll drag the employees here. I'll drag the target employees here. So let's see. Yeah, we have a, a column called rank. Uh, so we will uh, first. Uh, so uh, there is a transformation called rank transformation. R N K underscore EMP salary. So I want to rank all the employees based on salary. So when I create rank automatically there is a column by the default column rank index comes here. So I'll load all the I'll connect all the columns uh, from here to here and uh, I'll connect uh, I'll do auto link between rank to target and uh, finally I'll connect the rank column from the rank index to the target and let me configure some properties of uh, rank. So on, wh on what column I want to rank on. So by default there is a uh, port called rank here. Uh, so I need to select one of the ports as rank. By default it is employee ID port. I'm going to select salary. So automatically it will, uh, the rank port has become salary and it got removed from employee. So whether I want to group by anything, I don't want to group by anything to start with. In the properties tab, uh, how many rank uh, top or bottom? So top means the highest uh, ranked column, which is highest salary in this case. Uh, number of ranks, how many records I want to receive. I have 107 records in the source. So let me leave the default properties here. So here a number of ranks is one. That means we'll only get one record into the target. So let's uh, first see this option. And uh, so I am creating a workflow for this. WF employees rank. And I'll create a session S employees rank. And uh, I'll select this mapping here. And I'll set our uh, standard properties. I'll connect this link condition fail parent if this task fails and uh, source connection value is hr target is target and uh, write backward compatible log file save session log for five runs and stop on errors as one dollar source and dollar target here and let me also select uh, truncate option here normal load and uh, truncate target table option here so I'm done with the settings so let me run the mapping and see uh, so it's a rank uh, workflow so it is still running so uh, I we uh, let's see how many records we'll get in the target uh, so the rank we selected only one uh, top one rank from employees table and ranking based on salary. 
so 107 records got read and only one record is loaded into the target so let's see uh, that record here so rank one uh, so 24,000 so that is the highest uh, salary so uh, we can see here select max salary from hr.employees it will be uh, 24,000 and uh, select employee id or select star from hr dot employees where salary equal to 24000 so now it will be uh, 100 uh, 100th employee id employee id 100 so that is what we got here because we selected only one uh, top one record so let's change this to top uh, 200 records so that we get everything uh, because we have only 107 records so if I select 200 everything should come into the target table so I'll save this and run this and let's see how many we are going to get here so it is taking some time because it needs to get all the records and sort it based on the salary and then rank them uh, so now now let's see so it gave rank 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So uh, basically uh, this 1, 2, 2, it gave two, uh, num rank number 2 for 2 records because both salaries are uh, same. So uh, this is uh, equivalent to, uh, this is equivalent to in the database the following query. So this is exactly equivalent to this query in the database e dot star comma rank over order by e salary descending from uh, employees e so in uh, database we have uh, so here also you can see that 17,000 uh, rank uh, 17,000 salary employees got the same rank too and now uh, we will see one more variation of this in the database there is something called dense rank so if we give uh, these repetitive ranks uh, it will it skipped uh, three and then gave four so the total ranks will be 107 uh, in this case so if we give dense rank uh, it will not skip the three it will give three to the next one after, even though it gave two to two records it didn't skip uh, the, the rank number three it gave three so the total number of ranks will be less in this case which is uh, 58 only so in informatica we do not have any option of dense rank it is always the normal rank so let's see in the next class one more variation of uh, rank transformation thank you